Let's review a few common troubleshooting steps for, for taking a look at why printing might not be working on your Linux server. Just log on to the server. So say we've got a printer, LP1, that's not printing. If it's a network printer, and it should be, the first logical step is to make sure that it's accessible over the network. Since I know that I set up my printers using host names, like LP1, my first step for troubleshooting is going to be to try to ping that printer. Let's give it the ping command, and let's tell it to ping it four times instead of endlessly, and then the host name. And you should see responses coming back here. Now, a couple things to look out. If you see timed out requests, or very, very long, or large millisecond counts, or long round trip times, could be uh, problematic. Also, if you see packet loss of any sort, that could be problematic for printing as well. In this case, the output looks good. This printer is accessible on the network. It's got some 0% packet loss, good response times, nothing to worry about from a network perspective. So the next step down the chain is to take a look at the Linux print queue. The Linux print queue is the one that sends the job from Linux to the printer. So let's use the lpstat command. Now that's interesting. Now it says printer LP1 has been disabled. So I don't know if this was manually initiated or perhaps as a result of an error condition on the printer, but I do know how to enable it. I can use the cups enable command and the queue name. Now if I run the lpstat command again, it's showing that the printer's idle. And go ahead and send another test job through. If the job doesn't come through, there's one last place to check. We've checked the network connectivity, we've checked the CUPS print queue that sends the job from Linux to the printer, but we haven't checked the universe print spooler, which sends the job from Eclipse to the print queue. So let's go ahead and check that. Use the USA command and specify the LP number. Hmm. The printer's off. Now, again, this could have happened as a result of an error condition or by someone manually disabling the printer. That's okay. We can re-enable this. USA plus O minus P LP1 and run the USA command again to verify that the printing is now enabled. At this point everything looks good. We should be able to send a, st a job straight through from Eclipse to the printer. Disabling and enabling queues along the way uh, is very important for a troubleshooting perspective. Um, by setting those stops manually what you can do is capture the jobs en route to the printer. So a common troubleshooting method, if a print job just seems to be disappearing into thin air, is to disable both the universe and the cups queue, and then re-enable one at a time, starting first by the universe spooler to make sure the jobs get through to the cups queue, and then once they're verified to be in the cups queue, go ahead and enable that and watch them appear on the printer side. Again, if you're seeing any sort of signs of network connectivity issues, packet loss, large round trip times, it might be indicative of a network issue that could cause uh, varied performance with printing. When you're done troubleshooting your printers, go ahead and log out using Exit.